up on the last minute. Pearl against his body, Pearl against all his way body, down the field, and that's the field. Uh, and you're right, you said it the other day, he said he's paid a lot of money to answer as many questions as he needs to, yep. the right way, and I think he knows that too. Here's Josh Adams, now trying the left side. And they'll push him just over the third, second down at four. Here's Adams, he'll go forward for a couple, bring up a third and short. So 3-4 defense, and that's why Dexter didn't play a whole lot. Third and two, it's Adams, he's got the first down. Man, did that open up for Josh Adams! And he's running away from people. And a last chance. And then Adams breaks one tackle. On first down and goal. Wimbush going to keep it. Lined up on the right tackle, the top of the screen. Wimbush, pocket collapses, able to complete. Hooking up with high school anywhere. That is tough to do. On first and 15 after the marker. Wimbush is throwing. And could right there. Cameron Moore was on him like a glove. They're still looking for a second receiver to emerge. Who's going to be the number two guy on second and 15? Wimbush trying to emerge. Cover. And he's the only receiver that Wimbush is looking to. See, there's inside, outside, nowhere to go. And then the, the rush from McClinchy. I'm surprised they just run it. Exactly right on the money. Conservative. To Wimbush going to try to run for it, and he won't get there. Stop the yard. Landry's going to come up the field. Forces Wimbush out of the pocket. Schwab is there to make a nice play. That's later tonight. Wimbush to the NFL and have a talent like Geis waiting behind him. That's recruited. St. Brown on the receiving end, and he's taking on all comers. I don't want to be the fashion police, but you might have just noticed a flag there. Quick throw to Josh Adams setting up the screen and... Pressure's coming from, get rid of it. On first down and 10, here's Adams up the middle. Richardson will make the tackle. On second and four, here's Adams. And we're... This year is supposed to go just to the top of your knee. Third and three. And just too hot, a little too high. You roll a right-handed quarterback to his left and try to throw a sprint out. Look how he has to get his shoulders around. That's very difficult throw, clearly. Take credit for, uh, for Brady. Uh. Hey, if I had those names, I'd put them on the back of my, my baseball card as well. Here's Adams. In special teams, but I've been so impressed by the way that they've played in this first half. They're going to be right in this to the fourth quarter. Adams is over 100 yards. He was going to be a great player, hurt his shoulder, and couldn't come back from it. And we became the best of buds. Right up the middle, it's Adams again, ripping off another big one. Will they catch him from behind? They will. Five. Yeah, just big gaping hole up front. Ray Smith, the defensive tackle, got washed down. And Yachty saved the touchdown, gave his defense a place to stand. On first and ten. Here's Wimbush. High line, Tony Jones comes in. Still haven't seen Dexter Williams. And the flags go. Full start. Number 71. Offense. Five-yard penalty. To the right of Wimbush. To throw. All sorts of time. And then too strong for St. Brown. Or do you? Here's yeah. Wimbush up the middle. And he is banged down, and they... Their pad level. 6-2. Brock Wright, extra tight end, is checked in. Wimbush. He'll sort it out and look for it. No signals, no indication. Not yet. Yes, there's the... ...himself, and he follows right behind Nelson. There's McGlinchey in there. Probably your best bet. Short yard. Jim Reed, either. He's Todd McShay's old coach. Not going to mess with that. On first down and 10, after the completion. Good hook up to Clape. Kelly was telling us he's comfortable with uh, Justin Yoon from 52. That's his max. Wimbush should have been intercepted.
across the middle of the field. That's tipped up in the air, intercepted. Picked off by Lucas Dennis. By Dennis. Yeah, you're going to see some pressure up front on Brandon Wimbush. He's, he's got to throw this ball on time. And Equinemia St. Brown takes a little too long getting out of his break. <laughs> so they turn it over on downs. Let's circle this point in the game as potential critical spot. Wimbush on the move. No trouble. And they're trying to manage their way and just keep the season together through this schedule. Try to get a little bit healthier as Adams is the... You see uh, Strahan out as well. Third down and one. It's Adams. And he has it. It's not 60. His loss might be even, even hurt them more than the center Baker. Yep. That's a valuable plus the depth of the position. Here's Wimbush taking a shot down the middle of the field and could not hook up with Field. And they're throwing the ball to Fink. It's it's uh, that's not what you thought coming in this season. Good question. Quick throw. And a qu Georgia did it last week. Here they come. Wimbush gets out of there. Able to make a move. He's got the first down. He's got the sideline as well. Brandon Wimbush cuts it back inside. Brandon Wimbush. 46 yards there. Big time play for the. Play fake. Throw. And caught. This is a third down try. Fine catch by Mack. Third down and goal. Handoff up the middle. It's Tony Jones on first down and goal. Hand off to Adams. And the BC defense stiffens there. And, and they set the tone for the season. First down and 10. Final 40 seconds of the by PlayStation View. Steve Levy, Brian Greasy, Todd McShay as we open up quarter number four. And with a big play is Dexter Williams there for the gain of 14. Wimbush fakes to the right, and he'll travel left. Wimbush free in the run game. Last couple of drives by the Irish, 70 and 75 yards, and dominating that third quarter. That pair, you better throw that ball quick or have a screen. Two on the play clock, they get it away. Wimbush will turn the corner and keep it. Oh, he's got the first down, and he's got the whole middle of the field. Here's Brandon Wimbush. Thinking about a fourth rushing touchdown of the day, and he's got it. Throw the ball with any kind of consistency in this game, and they're going to need to get better in that area. Third and six. Very seen Brandon Wimbush rush for a fifth touchdown today. They've been erased. Ian Book is a quarterback, and he comes out firing. Did not expect that. Michigan State, I think they can win with this kind of a recipe, but they're going to have to throw the football, I think. With USC standing here to look for receivers that can separate and, and get more consistent accuracy out of their quarterback in Wimbledon. Hand it off to Dexter Williams. He's still running harder offensively, in my opinion, throwing that ball. Here's Book. And this game is not a laugher, but it will serve as a breather. Oh, no. Of Rosen. Darnold, oh, no. Allen, <laughs> so you can watch who the, the future Jets might be, depending upon how things shake out. So, but not in perspective. And you, know, you mentioned the Jets. They've been paying a lot of money to a lot of people for a long time and, <laughs> and, and, and not getting any value for that money. He hit it first 11 for 11 to start the game. You know, two or three games on. It's a great app. The Irish have rushed for 512 yards on the day. Try to add to their passing yards. The Massachusetts native, Todd McShay, got to visit with his Richmond coaches. Right, Jim Reed.